right side and make sure that we're on the right side of the law. Uh, the FBI has a program called um, uh, Vigilant Eagle. And in this program, they target people that are uh, trying to identify themselves as so sovereign citizens. And they put them in the same category with uh, Antifa and uh, white supremacist groups as well. So we just want to make sure that we're not being identified in any way with any group that is a terrorist group. We are not a terrorist group. We are a uh, pro um, human life group, right? We're pro life, not uh, on the abortion issue exactly, but uh, we are, you know, pro people, right? We want to help people foster a living community around the world. We want to do all we can to help people be the best version of themselves. So with that in mind, uh, with Life Force, obviously we're bringing together the enforcement units around the around the country and around the world. We're also bringing in the assemblies around the country here in the US. And I'm sure there's a version of that in other countries, but we need experts in every country to do that. But we also have, uh, will have in the very near future, a way to apply for project funding, which is essential because if you're an inventor, if you are a, um, if you're an inventor or you are a, uh, you have a project idea or you're just a business owner or you're just a creative individual, or you just want to help humanity. Uh, all of those things are needed right now, right? If you're a bridge maker, or you know, you have you have a special way to you know create pavement, which we have people like that in our network already. We want to make sure that those people all know that there will be a way provided for you to actually get project funding. Now, there is was uh, some posts by an erroneous group out there uh, for a fake Facebook page, a fake United News Channel. Uh, and they basically are pretending to be Kimberly Ann Gogan. And they basically try to make a claim that, uh, oh, well, there's not gonna be any project funding. Um, and then we had someone else who actually sent out an email that said there wouldn't be project funding till next February of 2021. Uh, again, that is, none of that is something that was put out directly, that was put out directly, that was put out directly from um, us or from uh, the trustee, from, from Kim. So, uh, and she's here today, so we'll make sure that she clarifies any issues that came up with that. So um, when it comes to that, particular mission that everybody can be a part of initially. And um, the general, you want to talk about that, please? Jen, who I affectionately refer to as the general. <laughs> you want me to cover the Twitter, our Twitter plan? Yes, please. All right. Um, some of you here may have been on one of our or several of our assembly meetings where we had made an announcement about our very first call to action in regards to um, Twitter storm. We have a situation happening here in New York and actually it covers the entire US. Um, the CDC has their board uh, ASIP meeting that has called a emergency meeting for this Wednesday. That'll be held via Zoom in regards to the mandatory COVID-19 vaccine. As you know, all states and most health agencies adhere to CDC recommendations. So we have come up with a plan um, to go ahead and start our very first Twitter storm. Uh, we will have specific on the Life Force Watch app uh, with the hashtag, hashtags and the appropriate people that need to be addressed along with the picture. Um, essentially what we will be doing is um, putting these agencies on notice. Um, I'm going over my notes here, bear with me. I'm gonna share the screen, Jen, so that they can- Yeah, uh, please, you know, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, one second. So just to give everybody a feel for what, uh, you know, kind of a notice that will be, something you can share um, on, uh, on Twitter, right? So attention CDC, this is a cease and desist, all action assuming jurisdiction, authority, influence over state health departments, government agencies implementing unlawful medical mandates, policies, and guidance of we the people. In other words, uh, and then it's, we're saying that all rights are reserved without prejudice. In other words, stating that um, it's our body, it's our right, that the if uh, anyone is aware, the CDC made a, uh, a broad stroke announcement last October stating that they have determined that all state health departments must remove uh, all exemptions for vaccines. Now, 
if I analyze that information intelligently and I say, well, they, first of all, the CDC is a private organization. How did they dictate to our state health departments? Uh, so Jen, what did that, what did that look like? What, what do you want people to do with this? Yeah. So the call to action is going, obviously some of you are not from the U S but we all know that the CDC's recommendations really mirror other agencies across the globe. So what's going to be really important is that, um, we have, um, a strict guidance here as to what we're asking everybody to do as an effort, as our first mission essentially here. It's going to be to create a Life Force Twitter handle. Um, that'll look something like Life Force One underscore and then whatever your name might be. Uh, we're looking at starting on the 28th at 8 p.m. Um, Life Force will send out the very first tweet with the um, Ads and the hashtags and the picture that Tank just shared on the screen. Um, following the next day, um, we have a set set times for between like seven and nine, again between eleven and one, and then again at your rush hour traffic time. And everybody's expected to tweet that very same message at the same time. In essence, what that does virtually is kind of um, crash those hashtags and get the attention of the people that we want to see. Um, see our message. Um, am I missing anything else? Um, how do we know who's going to be number one and number two and number three? I think the idea is because this is mission number one, so oh, okay. life force one. Yeah, I think I think when we get a little bit more spread out, it'd be good to assign maybe numbers when we get more like Europe and and so on. Um, that way, when actions pop up, we know how to kind of see the trends, right? That's my thought. But Jen, you want them to actually set up a Life Force Twitter account, right? Yes, I think it's a very important um, because I'll, as we know what we're facing and these call to actions, uh, I hate to use the word um, war, but some of the um, adverse things that are happening are really being done virtually. So it'll be really important that we have a virtual presence as, um, as a force. Okay. There will be many more like this, I'm, sh I'm sure. So this will be our first shot at this and um, we'll be uh, organizing this. So everyone, if you have not downloaded the Life Force app, please do so. Uh, we will be communicating all essential things through there and we plan to expand very quickly. It'll be very important to know where you can get involved, what you can do to help, how you can be a part of things, when we'll have training, when we'll have certain conference calls, everything you will need to know, we will be putting in there and we'll do our best to keep that as exclusive as possible. Um, and we're gonna bring people in and obviously we're going to have lots of different things happen along the way, which we fully anticipate. Um, and that's okay, that's okay. So just as long as you know that's going to happen, we're gonna have people that are trying to pull off side groups and things like that. Uh, the Life Force app, we monitor, you know, we can see everything that's going on. So there's not gonna be a troll that sneaks in and sets up a side group to, you know, take us over, right? It's not like Facebook where we're harvesting data, but it's everything you could do on Facebook, you can do there. So you can set, we'll set, set up groups that are mission specific. In other words, this is a social media type app, but it is for professional communication, right? So you can share your personal views on things, of course, but it's not a place to sit around and gossip. Here, we're...